Hi, welcome to this computer system. It's Arclux B Plasma. And the video, the topic of the video is actually a retake because uh, I've made already a video about the Arclux release and all the new stuff. So this is the video where uh, uh, every month we releasing, in this case uh, today, 18 ISO. So each month we have done work, we've put out uh, code and then we show you in this what is new video what we have done so that's this video it's going to replace the other one where there is a gap or three or four minutes where there's no sign sound so a bit strange but don't think i've done anything to do that to deserve that but anyway here we are back at take two so what did we do in march and a little bit um of course of uh, February as well. Most of the time went into developing Calamars. So Calamars has gone through major changes and thank God uh, encryption is still possible. So what happened? We have the release of the 3.2.18. So um, Calamars is an installer, a graphical installer, installer, and it's been used widely by more than 20 Linux distros. So it's a cool system to get a graphical environment to boot up and to install your Linux environment. And then the user doesn't see Calamars anymore. It's just gone. It's just a, um, a pass through and, and a way to uh, put the system on your SSD or hard disk. Previous month, we've tried out KPM Core Git because there were issues and only with encrypting there were issues. So. I said, let's take not KPM Core 4 last month, and but let's take the old one, 3.8. And it seemed to fix, fix the uh, issues with uh, encryption. So people who want to encrypt their hard disk, um, what happens is when you boot up, even before Grub, you get a question, what's your password? And if that password is not correct, you can't just, you can't log in, you don't get access. That's the idea, so safety mostly for laptops, I would say. So when you leave your home and you put it somewhere in your car, it's stolen, they can't get at your data. Now, we have uh, at this time chosen for the new version. So with discussions with Calamares, saying no, it's not yet fixed. It was actually an, an issue that was dragging along like six months or so, I think. So um, no, with more explanation and more uh, ex uh, issues on GitHub, uh, there was a KM core, KPM Core 4.1 update, and yes, that was working fine. So now we have gone to these two versions. Calamares has grown. We have a um, net module, it's called, if you want to know. It's a window we get, and in this window we choose. And the red things are the ones that are new or extra. So we have now four kernels, the Linux kernel, Linux LTS, Linux hardened, Linux Zen. So I guess hopefully one of the four will help and will boot into your system and your hardware. It's always in a hardware thing, right? Then we have Nvidia as well, Nvidia LTS. So the choice between Nvidia or the Nvidia LTS or the 390 with Linux kernel and the Linux LTS kernel. So this is all hardware related. The new things, let's stick to that because you know the rest here. Uh, Ardor is new, LMMS is new, whoa, LMMS is new, and the system D manager, a more graphical way to show what's going on on your system, your services, your system CTL thing. So that's extra as choices. So the more choices, the more freedom, right? To get stuff on your system. So it is possible, as you see here, to just launch your system and have all four Linuxes and you play around with it and try this one, try that one and see what feels best, what's best for your hardware. And this can change over time, be sure of that. So this is um, the LTS as you see here in the image. This one is hardened and you go and have a look online what it stands for, why hardened, why Zen and why long-term support LTS. Git had been a git find or faint, I don't know what to say it, um, but it's an application for your GitHub. 
So this, what you see here, well, you see the names here, order, LMS, and system D manager. So that's the picture above. And this one is the Git Faint and the uh, Git Head, I think, right? So you choose here still, you wanna have a white um, environment, a native team or a dark team, that's the choice. Don't think this one has a dark theme, but I like it the way it is, bright and readable. Calamaris and Article Linux, we support now G Chinese, Korean, and Japanese, thanks to a person on Discord. So come and join us, help us make Article Linux better, because frankly, this looks cool, right? And we have a nice video, XFCE in Japanese, I think I took. So that's gonna be great, that's possible now. We've added another package, Caligra. Have a look what it is, Google it a little bit and see if that's something you'd like or just install it and um, try it out. In Firefox, Firefox is by default installed. We need to have a browser when we develop. We need to have a text editor, Sublime Text, and we need to have a melt to compare stuff. So these three are always installed, just so. It means, this line means that if, 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 in Calamaris you set things to Japanese, you'll get a Firefox in Japanese. So the, when you boot up, you see immediately, like in this example, that Firefox is in German. So I've chosen Calamaris to be in German. That's the end result. What we've done as well, the Arcanix D is, is going to become, well, I, th I think, I hope, very popular Arc Linux D is super interesting since it gives us so many choices and gonna be even better in next release in April. I'll be starting to work pretty soon on 3.2.20 of Calamaris, which is then a request to Adrian from Calamaris to uh, divide these things here in just one window and make several windows of it. So that's possible in 3.2.20. So that's coming in April. The thing is, uh, we had to add something on the uh, ISO. We feel, we install, we, we try this, we try that. It's all variations. We, we can't try all variations, but that's why beta testers come in. Everybody tests a little bit different. And we found out that FE, so the a small application doesn't really, it's, it's nothing in kilobytes, right? But it sets our wallpapers in TWMS, so tiling window manager, like awesome, it's more Utile, things like that they use it and otherwise we'll end it up in something black and black well it's a nice color but it's not quite appealing if you log in so first impression is everything that's my opinion anyway and uh, phase there so it will load up a wallpaper well you know our wallpaper our standard wallpaper we do need a PolKit uh, daemon or agent and that's the PolKit GNOME we've installed it by standard on it so that Arclinks 3 tool when you press Control alt e there are two things you need to know by heart on um, Arclinx that's the tweak tool which is Control alt e it's gonna be huge this application it's growing we have lots of ideas it's only time we need so bear with us we'll get later on an SDDM Configenzo one and so on so many ideas too little time Control alt e and Ctrl Alt W. So as well here you can go to the tool. So if you forget the E, then maybe you still remember the W and from welcome, right? W welcome app. And then um, you go to the most important parts for, for Arclinix. So the Arclinix tweak tool. Bibata cursor team is actually a result of the fact that in the tweak tool you can set the cursor to a bigger size. This one that I'm showing here now is the breeze snow. It can't change from size, but this one can. So we've decided to put it on the ISO because frankly it's also a very nice uh, icon. We'll see it later on. I think the Bibata cursor is a nice one. So it's going to be standard here. So you can't choose it inside Calamaris. Why put it in here if it's already on the ISO? That's the idea, right? Things that are in the package list are on there. There's no need to say install it because this only installs, does not remove. That's a question I have a response I gave today on Discord. 
We have added the following packages in the Calamaris list. Arc Linux wallpapers gits are there because we don't like a black thing we put into, right? So we get at least the wallpaper from Arc Linux, the, the green and the mountains, that thing. D menu will be there, so Super Shift D is going to help us in here in, in uh, Plasma. It's going to work as well. We've programmed the keyboard shortcut for it, so we can type and launch our applications, right? But you know the D menu is this yellow font up there. So that's there. And some more fonts because, um, well, they're nice. And also because some of them are used in Conkeys. So we were installing. I click D and we saw the conky is ugly. Why is the conky ugly? Ah, yeah, the fonts were missing. So we've made some more choices there that you can decide to install the proper font or just all the fonts to be sure. PAMAKAR is actually from a user. So thank you for reminding us. Hey, you forgot PAMAKAR on there. So it's just a click away and you have this nice tool to show what's on the AUR, what's inside the package and so on. Lots of information. I use it all the time. So although we made this switch from KPM Core Git to KPM Core, we've tested it extensively. Encryption is still possible with this switch. So try it out, which means you have the three default plus either encrypted or not encrypted. So we have six default options here. And of course the manual, that one as well. If you want to know something more about the version releases and all that, that's going to be here in this link. Some images for you. And then we came up with a new application. There is a new application in town. It's called Arclex Spices application. That's probably going to be uh, influencing some people and giving people some what ifs of their own. We've made an application that allows you to install Arch Linux packages on Arch Linux based systems. Not just Arch Linux, all Arch Linux based systems. So I've made some videos about it. First, of course, on Arch Linux and then on Salient OS, which is a neat uh, application to take a look at. It's Arch Linux based and you'll feel right at home because frankly, if you are uh, used to Arch Linux or Arch Linux, then there are um, similarities, like 90% like of it is um, similar. So this, these packages, I've, I'm not going to go into the details of the buttons. There's the video for that. But basically you see, you can read what it says. Uh, we missed our update. We missed our alias. We missed our mirror inside Arch Linux. So rather than, and we've done all that, uh, we do that already in videos in the past uh, with a script. So that's no problem. If you want to do that, you can always do that and it stays the same. It's still on there. Article D, we've always explained, if you want to have our Article Linux packages, go inside the Arch Wave folder and run this. So basically what we have done is we've made a nice front end for this. Okay, but it's okay. It's nicer to have something uh, graphical. And the thing is, in my case anyway, I need to fix the key server connection first before I can do that. So remember, normally it's one, three, four, five, but this is a fix if this one goes wrong. All right, so installing Arclink stuff on Arch Linux based systems. Remember, where can you find it? Here, download apps. That's important too, because this has nothing to do with Arch Linux. This has to do with something else. So you can't install it. You need to download it. And then maybe I should say it's somewhere here. Type sudo pacman minus u, because you want to install it. You want have downloaded it. And uh, that's what you should do. Download it here, install it, and then run it. And you get this in an arc dark theme and get the other one in plasma all white that's just design then what we've done as well since we have these uh, two beautiful lovely applications we said okay let's uh, give them a more uh, dominant place 
and it's going to be here the welcome app and the tweet tool it's going to be in your menu up there not in plasma so xfc gnome no more keyboard drop down finally we got rid of it uh, we figured it out it's a dirty solution but it's a solution anyway and it's gone here so we don't see these drop downs of belgian english french german and that's how we try to fix the keyboards in the past so no keyboards there anymore in gnome Arcanlix tweak tool we've seen it already um, we're going to update it every day again and like this morning i mean it's a never-ending story and that's great it's fun it's creative and these two are new so the auto start gives you the current content of the config auto start that's it it just looks what's inside that folder and gives you a nice overview if you want to say whoa not that one remove not that one remove or add something yourself right a name the command like termite or something comments whatever comments add and there is termite every time you boot up and the desktop installer this is gonna break things in the sense of this is going to be huge it's super easy now to install uh, desktops but it's only install install will never be covered because it's too damn difficult you have 15 desktops right so that's the uh, challenge there but the installation is no problem and if there's a problem there's even a reinstall button and select to clear the cache if you say oh, i have an error or there's something wrong it feels not right okay select to clear the cache so all the packages from your machine are gone and it's actually re-redownloaded so that's the best possible way to do it like this and like that so these two guys are new and we're playing with it at the moment and improving them again because sometimes you forget a package and all that so this is also maybe a good time to tell you that when you um, at this point in time with the version of march when you install in calamaris open box there are three packages missing of 10 tint 2 so tint 2 is a bar up here and the easiest way is actually ctrl alt e this one and install them and then you have the three missing packages because this one we can influence we can make updates for for this one but not on an iso of course that's frozen in time so things like that are super interesting to give immediate service all right telecom links tweak tool gonna be awesome you'll see and a new fun script nice illumina right okay like it you hate it but it's nice to make some screenshots shots uh, certainly in tiling window managers in deeping we've uh, set the network manager again which um, was not there in the beginning but the challenge here is that it should be there on the live dvd and it shouldn't be there in the deeping afterwards because deeping has its own network application so that's done and here we have some images of the vpath cursor so a orange kind of look a black white and an oil look not too much difference probably in the video but you'll see when you install it and you use it because it is installed um, so that's that the cursor the welcome app a version so we still know what version we're talking about if there are issues we say what version are you using and then the article links be open box yep because of the fact that we would like the welcome app to greet you first impressions right we need to actually make a new package here so there's an open box b so an extra b in here and the only thing it has a difference it has is a command saying run that and that's unfortunately necessary and we be extended we're using dex here as well to greet the people article links b the wallpaper is now the standard wallpaper in plasma and the next two months i don't know what we're gonna do um the we these have been standing there like months but there are things other things to do because like i said calamaris uh, needs to be well there is a new uh, version 3.2.20 and which is going to be huge in the sense of um visual aspect in arclex d and that's going to be my first priority carly can't be forgotten so we need to do a lot of work there too uh, we'll see if we have time for other 
tiling window managers because there is also Spectre WM and there are other out there. We see its move on, on or we see it on Discord, but if there's no time, there's no time. Priorities, right? How to stay rolling. That's a video we always provide you. So if you don't need to do a clean install, we provide you with a script that's going to update your system. So you have the exact same packages as we have on our ISO. That's the goal, the goal or the point that we have um, in, in contents the same. Okay, what's new? That's um, the old video where there was this um, few minutes lacking. So take two. That's now afternoon in Belgian time. Good to know. If you want to know how to stay up to date articles, if you want to add more stuff, everyone has its own opinion of a distro, not just Arclinux. Every user of every distro says it's not good. They want to change things, remove things, add things, and that's basically this one. This is my own package where I say Arclinux is not good enough for me. I want to have Discord. Telegram, Spotify, the InSync, Dropbox, but I won't push them on the ISO. If you want it, you install it later on. I can't, I don't think it's my place to push anything paid like Spotify or uh, InSync. So I decided for myself later on. So remake, rechange, update, uh, make, it, make it your own, use, reuse the scripts, these Nemesis scripts, and then Put them on GitHub somewhere like I do and then you download them, run them and after 50 minutes, this is my way to get things done here. In 50 minutes time I have a complete new system, clean install, but all the data is there from the cloud. So important things, might uh, these might be interesting workflow things. This is also important, the aliases. Uh, if you don't want to get frustrated, you need to learn the aliases. What's update? What's scale? What's backup scale? What's CB? What's up all? You have to get to know these things and then it's all fun and no frustration. And if you have any troubles installing, here's again our Calamares knowledge base, an article with all, oh, I think, 30 videos on Calamares. Things you can do because people want to have Windows and they want to have um, Linux and also maybe let's have taken home on a separate partition and so on and so on. We've covered a lot of possibilities in those videos. So that's it for me. Um, I was thinking of something to, okay, I think it's this one, Arclinux.com. Yeah, that's what I wanted to show. Here we have an article, do you know our tweet tool? Quite important, right? Calamaris, that's the article that contains 30 uh, of these uh, tutorials. And this is also super important, of course, scale killed my settings. So learn about scale, learn about um, backup scale and all that. There are lots and lots of articles. Misschien, maybe and a last thing, that was a Dutch word, misschien, maybe. Um, and last thing, people sometimes say Ctrl Alt W, YouTube of um, Arclinux is, is great. It's awesome, so many knowledge, and it is true. It is like going to the university. It has so, so many videos, right? 3,381, uh, 3, that's my last video. And in order to find things, well, you go to the search and you find with a word or a tag or something like that, that's one thing. And there's also the playlist. So use also playlists. There are lots and lots and lots and lots of playlists. They're all put together. But people say, say we can't find our stuff. Well, you can't do anything more than putting tags and words and adding playlists and that's it. This has never been the in intention. This is not the place to be. Here there is, well, knowledge, but there is, this is not where you start. Where you should start is actually on, uh, okay, I have another browser I see. Where you should start is actually in here, arclinux.com, d.com, b.com, ISO, anywhere of these guys, because these guys are in our control. 
we can say do something about the search we can make tags we make can make lots of things we can make structure and start here do this do that do that follow the guideline and then you're on your own then you go for okay let's uh, have a problem with kernels okay then you click on the kernel and that's another way of going uh, looking for information the better way of looking for inf information because these articles contain of course the same YouTube videos but it starts here where you say I want to have to want to do something with conkeys okay conkeys go ahead and look at the enormous source of conkeys but even a uh, page two right but don't go looking well you can go looking on YouTube but it starts here in our eyes it's here place to be and the uh, YouTube links are in the articles that's the last thing I would like to say, I think. Um, join us on Discord. That's a good thing to end. Join us on Discord. Next release, Saturday, 18 April. Join us on Telegram. Again, um, this one is for Arclink stuff and this is for chit chat, the weather, a car. I bought this, I bought that. I want to try this, I want to try that, All right? So Arclink stuff and chit chat. And that's our YouTube, which is 1300 plus almost 1400 all right enjoy article next the new releases 18 isos at this point in time and with every new desktop there will be a new iso all right cheers